I visit that swamp every night. One slime per visit. Why did they all leave? Do they hate me now? Jesus. But I've been playing non-stop on this world, trying to get slime, and I got up to 21 slime blocks. I feel awful doing it. <laughs> but I realized, Bob the Trader actually sells slime, so we gotta wait for him to come around. And then finally, maybe, I might have something worth trading with him. I will admit, life has been rough the past few days. With this new bug in town, every an- Oh, I haven't checked my animal pens. But every animal's been despawning. All my cows despawned. I have no food source. All I can re rely on is fruit. That's no protein. I'm getting skinnier. Oh. Ah, so you will all stay. Sure. Get out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, there's some stuff over. Whoa. Cool. Oh. I forgot about my fishing hut. I have loads of fish. Oh, we're not going hungry anymore, boys and girls. Thanks for the help, Derpy, even though you did nothing. You're the maid of this house, by the way. <laughs> All right, but welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. You see something, right? Pablo, no. My map, no. 100 levels. We did it. I, I was going to wait until I was recording, but all this slime hunting I've been doing, yes, I know, it's awful. Uh, <laughs> I, I say it's awful because I'm hunting my own kind. No, um, but yeah, after all this slime gathering, do I have any in here? I finally reached 100 levels. Nope. And well, I don't know what to do now. Should we go on an enchanting spree? I'm not taking this off until I lose the 100 levels. I don't know. And we reached something else as well. We have reached 200,000 subscribers. I killed those chickens, by the way. I needed food, and I'm taking this out of my hand. Screw it. I, I'm tired of seeing it there. And uh, I planted a turtle egg. <laughs> oh, God. What the? Uh, how you doing? Oh, he's almost cracked, too. But yes, 200,000. That's amazing. And as you know, we make monuments sometime. I've missed out on a lot. Uh, here's all the ones we've made so far. 10,000 subscribers. 15,000 subscribers. And then there's this mountain here that a lot of you probably forgot about. This was going to be a monument, but then I forgot all about it. And then this lion monument for 70,000. That's all, that's all I got in this world. We kind of slowed down doing that for some reason, but we're gonna make one today for 200,000. And what I want to make is a slime tree. Yes, and this is not my design. I actually saw this a very long time ago, like back when I played on the 360 Minecraft, and it's been in my brain ever since, and I wanna make it today. So as you know, I've been kind of starting this garden in my front yard, and it just stopped. I have all my supplies here to work on the garden, and well, I don't even know if I'm going to work on it today. We might. Who knows? But I want this garden to slowly go up this hill. That was the plan all along. Like, see this circle thing right here? Uh, I don't know what you'd really call that. But I want them to progress going up this hill, which I thought would be really cool. And I'm thinking right now, the slime tree should be right on that edge right there. So it's just a beautiful tree right there. Whoa. Holy crap. I forgot all about this. Did I leave any coal in here? <laughs> you guys probably don't remember this. Oh, this was the preparation for like a giant kingdom project on this mountain, like back in 2016. Yeah, it never happened. All right, so I think right here will be good. I was thinking originally in the middle over here, but I want to be able to see it from my house. So I think right on this edge right here, and then maybe we could turn the rest of this into something interesting because I've never done anything with it yet. I've been saving it for something huge and special, but I still don't know what it is. All right, so the first block we are using is quartz is that a good spot yes so imagine this a white tree with green well slime as the leaves it actually looks really good i messed around with it in my creative world and i'm going to try to rebuild what i built over there yeah it's a good height wait let's go nighttime though gotta go hunt for some slimes god dang oh my god two slimes oh yes Yep, and that's about it. Usually I get like one slime or two. Oh, I'm lost. Where am I? And sometimes I get rare big ones, which are really nice because I, I usually get like 20 slime balls from them. Oh, I just wish one would spawn. But I saw something over here that was very interesting. Let's go check it out. By the way, this is my swamp closest to home. Uh, my home is that way. 
just to give you guys a reference. Uh, this is what I usually come to. Where is it? Please. Creeper, okay, did you kill the little guy? Where is it? No, where'd it go? <gasps> Whoa! That, hey! Hey, you You know, where you are, this is not what I was talking about, but hey, pink sheep. That's cool, keep on pinking. I won't take him home though, I already got one. I lost it. I lost, oh! Ah, the good old mountains. This was the area I was thinking about moving to eventually, like a long time ago. You can even see old pillars from when I came up from mining. This is a kind of a way out, I guess you can say. Oh, Sour Patch Kids is so good. Look at this. A donkey with spots. What the heck are they? What? Donkey with white legs? Oh. Hey! Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know they added that. Alright, back to the slime tree. Alright, and then every... It's about to go night again. Every night we gotta go back to the swamp. Okay, let me get a little bit more done on this. Man, roots are hard. Okay, check this out. This is the swamp I've been going to. It's, it's relatively small, so I can just run around and then wait for him to spawn, which kind of sucks. Look at this crap. Just wait. Just wait. Pass this spruce biome. Over this hill. Through the woods. Over the river. There's another one. And it's much, much bigger. And I've been here before, because there's like saplings planted. Oh, this would have... Oh, okay, let's see if we even more spawn here. Oh, our first contestant. Hey, buddy. Give me... I won't ask. Go ahead. Okay, another small one. God. Oh, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Are you my dad? No. No, you're not. My dad was human. My mom was a slime. <laughs> no. All right. Let me kill you. You already know too much. Oh, yes. And then this is the best ones. They always split into the... Well, they don't always. It's the best when they split into the four medium-sized ones. And then... We have a bunch of babies. Okay, I didn't get that many babies this time. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, slimes are spawning everywhere now. I'm in heaven. It's just gone, I guess. That thing I was talking about earlier. Not the pink sheep. Is the pink sheep still here? Pink sheep? Pink sheep? There he is. <laughs> but it was right on this hill right here. I was uh, in this swamp biome. It was like two days ago, so I understand why it despawned. Um, but it was, a, it was a fox. Yeah, so we have foxes. I'm assuming it came out of that spruce biome and kind of wandered around here. I walked over and looked at it from a distance, and I'm like, okay, don't despawn. And then I went on with my life, but it's gone. At least I know they're in the game now. All right, how many can we make? Seven. Oh, that is such an improvement. Derpy, is the fish done? Derpy, look at me when I'm talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> it's done. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, oh. I didn't even think of that. I might have to get rid of this spruce tree. Yeah, you can't block the view of the magnificent slime tree. <laughs> okay, that's not as majestic as I was thinking it would be. It's a little small. I don't know if I want it to be too big, though. Crap. 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 This is my problem, I overthink too much. I actually love the way it looks right now. And I actually like the small size of it because I don't want it to be too huge because I'm gonna have a garden going up there and then we'll be able to go up and view it. I kinda like it like that, but I was thinking, what if we gather so much slime in the future that we create 
a bigger one in the center and just have a bunch of these small ones around it and that's just like a a slime tree mountain you gotta admit that'd look kind of cool with a bunch of slime trees of different sizes up there but that would be a lot of slime which means we need to make a slime farm and i don't know if my chunks will work that's the problem night's almost over now one slime this time There we go. I guess that's a good date. I dedicate this slime tree to 200,000 subscribers and reaching 100 levels for the first time. Now, originally I wanted to make this monument because on July 10th, that was when I actually started this world five years ago. So, uh, starting now, four days ago was the fifth anniversary for this world. That is crazy. Um, yeah, it's not finished. I'm sorry. I, I it's just no slimes are spawning, man. This amount of slime right here took so long this is like four days of work uh well not exactly exactly four days <laughs> you know what i mean like i got on quite a bit in the last four days just to hunt slime down and that's all i could get we're going to finish it though and we're going to turn this place into a beautiful beautiful garden hey we're 101 levels i'm going to be honest with you guys i hate the slime shank i hate it i actually hate it it's going to stay right there and despawn no i'm just kidding it's actually going to go in the museum when we make it because it's the most overpowered sword ever. It never has a damage bar, and that just bothers me. I hate... I don't know why I hate it. It's Mending is okay on the flying slime, because these things break fast. But on a sword and my bow, wherever that is... I think it's in here. Yeah, I just... I'm going to put this in the museum, too. I cannot do mending on tools. I like progressing them and getting new tools over time. But these are infinite, and it bothers me. So, with our 100 levels, let's create ourselves a new sword. What do you got for me today? Oh! <coughs> Who's knocking? Hello. Alright, let's waste this one level on a book. Smite. Oh, you better change after what I'm doing here. Oh, God. What the heck is that? Screw it. We're making all kinds of new tools today. Uh, I need some more lapis. Get over here. Get out of here. Get in there. Sword, no. Shovel. Fortune, no. No. Fortune 3. Actually, I have a Fortune 3, but it... Eh. Okay, I don't need that. What about a new axe? What the heck? Ah, screw it. We'll go for that. Okay, that's not bad. It has unbreaking on it. That's really good. Oh, 97. Oh. Hey, we reached 100. I took a picture with myself with it, okay? So... That's that's a plus. That fire aspect too. Okay, now this is the thing. I want fire aspect on my new sword because I want it to cook stuff. I wanted all of this with fire aspect except for mending. So I'm gonna wait until I have a sharpness option. I'm breaking three. I'll take it. Oh my god. It's always just one thing. Get no. Get that out of here. Smite four still. What is wrong with you, game? Do another book. Feather falling two on a one. That's nice. I'm breaking three. I have to go for that one. Knock back! It's the only one I did not want on my sword. Try that again. Of course. Efficiency four. Of course, just efficiency four. Pain of Ather. Dude, get these out of my life. Fine. Knock back two. Oh my god, I see. We'll do one more diamond sword. If I get knock back two on it, there's gonna be some blood. Sharpness three. That's all? No. All right. Loading three. Okay. I would have liked sharpness on it. Do I have any sharpness books? Sharpness one. Sharpness one. Sharpness one. Sharpness three. Sharpness one. I'm currently hunting for foxes right now. And I'm in that mountain range. I was right down there at the beginning of the episode, pointing up at these mountains, saying that these are like the OG mountains I wanted to come build in. Now these are like 0.9.0 generated. There's a swamp I've been running around in. Still no foxes, and look. How crazy is that? What are the chances? And I've never seen it because it was behind the mountains. Whoa, does anyone live here? There has to be someone. No. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's empty. Not surprised. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> the last remnants of these people. Wow. Was there a way out? Is this all these guys had? <laughs> the only time I saw that fox 
was at nighttime hunting for slime. And if I'm not mistaken, I think foxes are nocturnal. They come out at night to hunt. God, why didn't I think of that? that that's so true. Wait, does that mean they sleep, though, during the day? Don't they, like, curl up under a tree? I don't know. It's nighttime now. Now I'm going to search these woods. I'm sitting here reading the wiki for foxes. And wow, they put a lot of work into these guys. They do so much. A little too much, actually. They're like actual foxes. They sneak into villages at night. They steal crops. Babies kind of hang around the villages. Sometimes they get in the well and they get stuck in the well. Like, that's how much detail. That's just a little bit of what they do. That is so cool. I really want one now. Now, I know for sure if you breed two foxes, the baby will trust you. Oh, there's my village. I'm going to go see if... Ah, it's not really around a taiga. And I'm curious, does it follow you? How does that work? Can you actually have a pet fox or does it just trust you and not run? Let me know down below. Um, I've been reading up. They do spawn. They have a better chance of spawning at night. Uh, but I just couldn't find any. One day, guys. One day. We'll have foxes. Well, if they don't just spawn, that is. <laughs> you know what? Change things up. Do you guys want me to work on this next episode? I think it's about darn time, don't you think? I can't remember when the last time I worked on it, to be honest. <laughs> last thing we worked on was upstairs. Yeah, we got a lot to work on up here. I was stuck on... Yeah, I gotta get... I don't know. Do you guys like the red in here? I still can't believe I haven't decided what to do with that. But anyway, um, I think that's what I'm gonna do next episode. I was off... I was out... While I was out adventuring, I was also thinking... I have a lot of mountain peaks in random locations that are just random one mountains. And I was thinking... I want to, like, set up watchtowers on them all over the place around my map just for, like, indications how to get back home. Not only for me, for people that download the world. I don't have so many eyes, ideas going through my mind. It's just, like, kind of annoying sometimes because I know I'll forget about them. But anyway, <laughs> Arctic the Gold asks, Hey, Dallas, do you like Assassin's Creed? If so, which is your favorite game? I picked this specifically because, I don't know, just the, the amount of games that are coming out soon are just making me so hyped for gaming. <laughs> We're going to go on a little hike as I talk about this. Assassin's Creed. Huh, interesting game of choice. Um, my first Assassin's Creed game was Assassin's Creed 3 with Connor, the Indian guy, um, which I loved so much. And that is obviously, like, I think my favorite Assassin's Creed because that's how it works with games. It's always your first game you love the most. Call of Duty, for example. Black Ops 1 was my first. Actually, I played a lot of Modern Warfare with my brother, but I never played the multiplayer. Black Ops 1 was my first multiplayer, so that's kind of an example. Um, but yeah, I think the third one was my favorite. I also really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, even though that one got a lot of hate. <laughs> Any other Assassin's Creeds? I haven't really played a whole lot. I didn't get Origins or the one, Origins or Odyssey. I didn't get any of those because I just didn't really like, let's go mountaintop, <laughs> because I didn't really like the style of, I know that's kind of the style people wanted to go in, but I didn't really like it. You know what I really want? An Assassin's Creed set in modern time. Imagine that. That would be unreal. Scaling modern buildings. <laughs> that would be so cool. It would be hard to execute, but it would be really cool. I don't. The only thing I don't like about Assassin's Creed is the storyline, <laughs> weirdly enough. I just like the part of being in ancient times, being an assassin. I don't like it when it takes you through a futuristic thing and you're back in the modern world. I don't know. I just wasn't into it. But um, wh why I picked this in general? Because it reminded me of Hytale for some reason. I just started thinking about future games. I'm like, oh my god, I haven't checked up on Hytale in a while. And I went to their website... And they haven't posted in like two months, and I got so sad. But they are posting like new pictures, and I saw this picture of concept art. And it showed like the tools and weapons in the game. And it's going to be just like Skyrim. Mobile. It's not like Minecraft where you create your own stuff here, you put your own enchants on. Like you could find a really powerful sword in a dungeon that says, I saw one that said, consumes the soul of whoever you slay or something like that. And... Um, is like more powerful for the next minute. I can't wait to find stuff like that. That's what Minecraft needs. They need to add... Oh, uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> they need to add some unique traits. Not just enchants. Just certain abilities. They need to add more weapons to the game too, such as these. They need to maybe add a battle axe. Hytale right now currently 
has got to be the most anticipated game for me. Not only just because I'm going to be uploading it to my channel, but it looks so fun. The, the adventure side of it, it's everything Minecraft needs. And that's what I'm also scared of, is when it comes out, I'm afraid I'm going to like it so much that I'm not going to want to come back to Minecraft. But that's not going to happen. Um, but I'm just so excited. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for the beta. I can't literally, I literally can't wait for the beta. I don't know when it's going to come out. I'm, I know it's coming out on PC first, so that's going to suck for a lot of people. But um, go get yourself a computer. Just get like a decent laptop or something. I don't know. You can't miss out on this game. Um, they also announced Call of Duty, the multiplayer for that. I'm a huge Call of Duty person. So, and, uh, well, they, they didn't announce it. They showed the multiplayer, this 2v2 system, and it looks so awesome. I can't wait for that. Let me know if you play Call of Duty down below. Let me know if you're excited for Hytale. Because I, I just can't. I literally can't wait. Like, literally, I can't. Literally. Oh, <laughs> um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. And bye. And, and, and as well, thank you for 200,000 subscribers. Seriously, that is unreal. What's the next goal? I guess a million. I know it's probably light years away, light years away, seriously, but I mean, you gotta have big goals in life, you know? And that is my next big goal. Bye bye.